So this is the design that we show you how to build. Now I'm going to open this guy up. Uh, again, we got plexiglass in place and you can just use the stylus to just get down in there. So it adds kind of a little bit of precision. You gotta, you gotta get it and you can cut the hole bigger. You can, you could just, you could just put a, a line of plexiglass here and line of plexiglass there, just a little piece and you mount it in there. So then you got full access to the button. You can use your finger then. Uh, you can just make that hole slightly bigger so you can fit a single finger down in there. Uh, or you can use the stylus feature. We picked this up uh, at a local electronics store. Um, and as you see, the vent has been used a little bit, but it, it serves its purpose. Plus, if you're wearing gloves, boom, you got this option here. Don't have to take a glove off or you're disarming a bomb. Or, well, in this place, you're arming it. Anyway, let's go inside. Inside. Whoa, surprising, same thing. Got a couple extra buttons. We did this for simplicity. Um, we'll probably end up gluing this down, but every time we go to events, um, there's just a lot of people that got questions and we wanna show everybody the inside and outs uh, of this. And it's not something that's expensive and unattainable. Um, all these pieces for this design, obviously not including your, your iOS device, you could build this top to bottom for about 110 bucks. So it's, it's really, really practical. And the, and the, 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 amounts, the, the amount of gaming options you have, we have a few suggestions on our website, but you can do whatever you want with timed mission. You can do all sorts of different things with the capture mission if you wanted to. And you could do all sorts of things with the rush mission, with, the, with arming and disarming. Maybe it's taking a bomb across the field and then arming it. And then somebody's got to disarm it and then take it to another location. It's whatever you guys want to do. That's why we left things so open-ended. A, uh, a few people have asked, well, why haven't you, uh, why didn't you just make everything all together or make a standalone device? That's how we started this thing. We were going to make a standalone device um, that you purchase and, and we would be able to retail in stores. But we're airsofter guys. And you know maybe there's some paintball guys watching this too because it works for both markets. Uh, I'm just personally into airsoft right now. Um, and even when I play paintball, I like to dink. I like to create. I like to build things that I see fit. This is the thing here that's difficult. This programming, this software to get this to work, and this has to work. I mean, you can't have it freeze up in the middle of a game. It's gotta work every time. Everyone's gotta rely on it. And so we developed this and tested it to make sure it works. And it does work. It works continually, uninterrupted. You can trust this to run your mission. This here, this is up to you. We're providing the software, you build your hardware. And if you're not the creative type and you need some help, that's why we designed this setup. This setup really just kind of gives you the, the nudge, the push forward to figure out how do I want to do this? You know, how can I make this better? And some of you just might want to roll with this and it works great. Some of you might want to make something a little bit more intricate. There's a lot of ingenious inventors out there in, in the airsoft and paintball world. I tell you what, I've gone to Oklahoma D-Day, I've gone to countless of airsoft events, and I, I can't believe the ingenuity that people have. It's just incredible. And I'm really excited to see what, um, what the community is gonna do with this. And again, we don't even, use iPhones in this. You don't, you don't need to use an iPhone. Just pick up a cheap iPod Touch, pick up one that's used, scratched, beat up, whatever. As long as that it works. I mean, actually this one here, we picked this one up refurbished and it doesn't quite hold a battery charge. And uh, it, it, it's fine because we have it hardwired in for consistent power. And we have no issues with it. And we picked this thing up super cheap. But uh, let's go on further here. Again, we got the plexiglass on the outside. Got the hole here. Um, 
We've got the corrugated plastic and you can use whatever you want. You can make an aluminum piece. You could build it out of wood if you wanted to. I just wanted to use a, a material that doesn't absorb water. Um, wood would probably be the easiest. Well, you'd have to cut it and whatnot with uh, some tools. But uh, this uh, corrugated plastic is, uh, is really simple. I mean, you can cut it with scissors and just trace it with the box and it, it just works perfect. And it's, and it's durable. You did see it was probably a little flexy on the other one. Um, there's a battery right underneath this one, so it makes it a little bit more rigid. And again, probably should glue these into place now that we got the switches and stuff. Um, don't really need to be underneath. But uh, you could take two layers of the corrugated plastic and glue them together. And it's like super, super heavy duty. And we just picked this up at a local hardware store. Um, it was back by the window insulating areas. And if uh, you can't find this, they make those for sale signs out of this stuff too. And it, it works perfect. So it might say for sale on here, but it's a good secondary option. Um, and sign companies will have this stuff too. But uh, underneath the hood here is going to be the more familiar design. And yes, it's full of the, uh, it's full of the expanding foam. And uh, the speakers are down underneath there. This is the amp that we sell on the website. And uh, this, this is the design. I mean, it works really good. Now, oops, I armed the box when I was holding that up. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have a whole, whole lot else to say. I just kind of wanted to show the ins and outs and basically talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I'm, I'm an airsofter. I'm a, I'm a guy that, that wants to make the sport better. And I'm not a Apple fanboy, and that's why we went this route um, with, with the iPods and the iPhone, iOS system. Honestly, I just needed a system that works. Nothing against Android. It works awesome. Um, but the iPod Touch is readily available. It's cheap to buy pre-owned. And there's like a hundred different cases you can put them in that keep them waterproof. Uh, this one, you can almost barely tell that it's even in a case. Um, and then when, when, you're in the, uh, when you're in the dead zone or whatever, or, or uh, in the safe zone, just chilling out, you can play music on it. You know, I mean, you could do that with all sorts of different phones and whatnot. But just saying, it, it's got a lot of flexibility. And we just really wanted to show you show you just at a little small improv video of uh, the objective box and what it's about but uh, yeah this is the same deal same wiring setup there's the there's the auxiliary port down in there that the the auxiliary cable that the USB adapter goes up to here plugs in here you got your speaker cable that goes down your battery we set this on top it actually doesn't mount on anything. It's the, the expanding foam kind of fills it up and holds it into place. Um, yeah, real simple, same design, a little bit different take of how to do it. And it, and it just works, works really well. I do recommend wiring in some switches. Now you guys might be sitting there going, gosh, I'm not good with wiring. Find somebody that puts a car stereo in cars and they're out there. There's a lot of guys that do that. You might even have a couple buddies that do that. Um, it's the same thing. I mean, you're, you're hooking up some speakers, you're running some positive and negative uh, wires, and that's about it. And it's, it's really simple. So, just flip the switch, we get some sound. Oh, hey, look at that. I got it turned down because it's gets pretty loud when you're inside and you have it all the way up. Objective box armed. But yeah, that's it. It works really good. It's a lot of fun. It uh, it just does Objective a good job disarmed. of changing the gameplay, really enhancing uh, the on-field experience. It, it just... It's, but it's what's been missing for Airsoft for a long time. And it takes a little bit of time to build one of these, not a lot. I mean, you could do it in a half a day. Um, 
if you build our design. If you're building something completely unique, something completely different, um, you know, I mean, that could take a little bit more time. It depends what you're building, um, especially if you're trying to replicate something realistic. But, uh, yeah, it's really going to change the way you play your Airsoft games. It, uh, it's a lot of fun. Every time we take them out, people are asking about them. They want, to, want me to bring them out and just go out and have a good time. And it gives you kind of that video game experience that we all desire um, in the real life Airsoft or paintball world. So, anyway, if you got any more questions, post them up. I want to hear them. We're here to help. And thank you for taking a couple minutes here watching this video. Uh, I hope it's been more informational just hearing it directly from me. And uh, I just hope you guys really appreciate the hard work that we put into uh, to building this app. Uh, the box design, that's up to you. You know, if you want to fill, you want to do our design, more power to you. We already kind of figured out the hard parts. Um, if you want to make something really crazy and cool, I want to see it. Uh, send me an email. I, I want to see what you create with this. Um, I might even just feature it on the website with your permission because there's so many cool potentials, uh, potential designs and neat stuff that you guys are going to create. Um, I really, really, really look forward to seeing what the future of Airsoft and paintball and these war games um, really develop now that you got the tool to be able to um, orchestrate gameplay. Anyway, this is Ty Campbell. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you on the field.